Tuol Sait Chi. Tuol Sait Chi G Sait is a United States Space Force as radar station in Greenland near Pitifik Space Base for missile warning and spacecraft tracking. The Northern Station of the Solid State Phased Array Radar System. The military installation was built as the first site of the RCA-474L ballistic missile early warning system and had 5 of 12 beam use radars. The station has the following structures, EWR facility, structure with a solid state phased array radar system as far as phased array radar beam use radar buildings, three of the four former and slash FP minus 50 buildings one in slash F piece minus 49 a building support structures, e.g. Buildings with telecommunication equipment at the station support site CF. Technical site with radar 15 major structures were complete in 1961 and i.e. BLDG 98 which was for the original BRCS. History. Beam used general operational requirement 156 was issued on November 7. 1957 BMUs had originally been designed to go with the active portion of the wizard system and on February 4, 1958, the USAF informed Air Defence Command ADC that BMUs was an all-out programme and was being placed on the Department of Defence Master Urgency list. On January 14, 1958, the U.S. announced its decision to establish a ballistic missile early warning system, with Thule to be operational in 1959. Total Thule and Clear Air Force station costs in a May 1958 estimate were tilled at $800 million in October 13, 1958, planned for both estimated completion in September 1960. A World War Roman II ship freight operated by the Burns and Rowe Company originally provided the site J electrical and heating supplies until a power plant was constructed years later and water was from Thule AB via a branch to the site. Construction Kiewit was contracted for heavy construction e.g. The in slash FB Sminus 50 reflector foundations and tunnels between transmitter buildings and construction began in May 1958. A trial reflector installation failed due to ordinary carbon steel bolts instead of 1.5% chrome steel. The maintenance building with electric heat was the first building complete, and the four and slash FP 50 reflectors with 25 tan foundations were complete by August 8, 1959. Two pedestals for trackers were built for deferred radars after the July 13. 1959. Treaty No. 5045 with Canada regarding intermediate sites. On the west, an electric beam used railroad communication system BRCS was established between the switchboard at Thule and the Beam Used Project Office in New York City. A similar line between Thule and Massachusetts used as summer 1959 submarine cable. Between Thule and Cape Dyer, Beam Used Railroad Lawn Line system stations were at CFS Resolution Island and CFS Cyclic. President Dwight D. Eisenhower was notified on April 23. 1960 of construction work at Thule on schedule. All technical buildings have been accepted and emplacement of the electronic components is underway. Erection of the four radar antennas was completed and radar testing began on May 16. 1960 a simplex vacuum tube IBM 709 used as the prototype missile impact predictor MIP occupied two floors duplex IBM 790X solid state computers of the in slash FSQ 28 missile impact predictor set were later installed in building two to predict when parts might break down. The contractor also installed a checkout data processor slash slash academic research. Microsoft com slash publication slash thirty nine million two hundred thirty four thousand two hundred seventeen per cent five DRCA five hundred one computers two with thirty talk high speed memory five minus seventy six KC five hundred fifty six BPI three slash four tape drives and two hundred track random access LFE drums. The initial radar transmission from one of the scanner buildings was in August 1960.3. RCA Operations 
and the same date as the BMU's central computer and display facility in the continental United States. At midnight on 30 September 1960, it achieved initial operational capability and a shakedown period followed which used the simplex MIP and voice transmission of data to the Colorado Springs CC and DF. False alarms on October 5, 1960, when Nikita Khrushchev, the Soviet premier, was in New York. Radar returns during the Omunrais produced a false alarm on January 20, 1961. Synchnorite approved two-second FB-50 frequency hoping to eliminate reception of echoes beyond artificial satellite orbits. On November 24, 1961, an at NT operator error at their Black Forest microwave station northeast of Colorado Springs caused a BMU's communications outage to the end AFBCC and DF and its output to Strategic Air Command. A nearby B 52's overflight confirmed Site J had not been attacked. The BRCS undersea cable from Greenland had been cut presumably by fishing trawlers in September, October. In November 1960, one the BMU's teletype and backup SSB substituted hard head on missions for continual monitoring commenced in 1960. One two, the bomber alarm system had been installed at the fuel and clear BMU sites by 10 February 1961. After local interference, e.g., cranes and floor waxes and equipment problems were mitigated, and the 72 hour test verified the automatic rover data transmission BRCS. The 1961 authorization to begin fully automatic operation. Effective 2400 hours Greenwich Mean Time 31 January was issued Lieutenant Colonel Harry J. Will Senior Air Force Officer on the project at Thule on January 3. 1961 BMU's Deputy Program Director. By 1964, he was reassigned from the BMU's SBO to the Space Track SB Alfie on February 14, 1964. Air Defence Command. Dual operations transferred from civilian contractors or CA government services to Air Defence Command on January 5, 1962. In 1962, sinkholes formed in the drainage ditch at Scanner 6 1. By mid minus 1962, BMU's quick fixes for ECOM had been installed for fuel to recognise when it was being jammed. An RCA in slash FB minus 49 a radar set with specialised radium for fuel weather was installed by December 1963 and fuel multipath. Testing was completed by May 1964. In 1967, when the system cost totaled $1.259 billion, BMU's modification testing ended on May 15. Completion of the BMU's and the bomber alarm system caused a false alarm during the 1968 fuel airbase B 52 crash toward the system was deactivated in 1970. In June 1980, Three fuels FB Swinus 49 radium by Goody burnt to the ground and was rebuilt for in a late 1960s satellite communications terminal was moved from the Thule P Mountain site to Site G in 1983. To replace and slash FS Q 28 predict is a late 1970s plan for processing returns from mouths installed new missile impact predictor computers then was complete by September 1984. After being contracted for fuel on July 29, 1983, construction of an and slash FB-120 early warning radar was started on November 7, 1984. The array plate was complete on June 26, 1985, and the first satellite track was on June 8, 1986. Solid State Phased Array Radar Fuel's BMU's radars were deactivated in June 1987. The BMU's system at Thule had been replaced by the s Boris and slash fp 120 with two-faced phased array radar in 2QF87 January March. With 240 degree detection arc, the and slash fp 49 was intact and in disrepair in 1996 and the antenna and radium were removed by 2014. Point 
one after the Danish Parliament approved. Two Raytheon was contracted in 2005 to upgrade the deal's early warning radar as part of the larger ground-based mid-course defence programme. Intended to be ready in 2008, the installation was actually completed on June 24. 2009.3 Seals and slash FB minus 132 upgraded early warning radar U completes about 10% of the United States observations of Earth orbiting satellites.